so in this video I'll be showing you how to make an image with a transparency um, particularly a signature as uh, this um, a youtuber is asking me how do you do it to have um, as a logo with just the letters without the background so you can put the logo on top of different images so to do this in the GIMP picture editor I'm gonna first go I'll go ahead and show you a demonstration of what she's talking about I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get an image quickly let's say this one all right I'm gonna go ahead and get my signature which does have the transparency and it ends up looking like this see it has the spaces where the layer is uh, transparent and where the image um, is placed you, as you can see so to do this in order to do this we're gonna just start with a new image go to file go to um, new and from here you have the advanced option of uh, filling with just a transparency but if you don't want to do that and just go with a regular background color like this one you right click the uh, layer and you add a transparency channel or add a alpha channel I think it's called add alpha channel yeah and now if you left click the uh, layer and hit the delete key the layer becomes transparent now you can just go ahead and add your text in I usually use the text tool over here I'll use something like uh, I don't know um, Harlow another uh, favorite of mine is Harlow I will use a white font see okay and uh, let's see Given that this image is 1000 by 400, let's make the text size maybe 200 and see if that works. Um, the revision, a bit too big. 120. Mm, Revisionist.org. I'll go ahead and center it and see it's already set up to be trans uh, a transparency and it works just fine. And that's how you make a logo with a transparency behind it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, off this logo for you guys to see. So, if you want this to look uh, uh, popping out, and of course, before I do anything else, I want to keep a copy of this um, uh, text layer just as a backup. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Layer Fix and let's see Bevel and Bows. Go to uh, um, Inner Bevel and go ahead preview that and see if it's how you like it. This is fine. Say OK. And then uh, that's how you make it look like that. You can also add a drop shadow. Let's see, drop shadow, preview, cancel. Um, give me a second. Now selecting just the text, what I want to do is go over here and say select none. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the drop shadow. Preview. Hmm. Maybe because it's supposed to multiply. What if we just put normal? There you go. See, so the, the blending mode over here um, changes how the drop shadow works. If you have like a white background, then multiply works. But since I have a transparent back uh, background. You want to use something like normal. Normal is just fine. And then you set the OK button. I'm going to go ahead and go to File and uh, export this image. You can um, uh, save it as a PNG. JPEG if you don't uh, plan to edit the file. PNG makes it so that you don't lose information of the picture when you edit the file. So I'll, uh, I guess I'll save it to my desktop. Call it Transparent Logo. I'll go ahead and test it now. First, I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay, this card. Oh, let's see if I can find it. There it is. See, it's even transparent in the uh, icon, and it looks like uh, this. Looks pretty good, right? Now, if I want to go ahead and test it, I'll drag it to my GIMP editor. Actually, I'll, j I'll drag a regular picture to my GIMP editor, and I'll drag the logo in. Uh, let's see, right there. And yeah, you can see that um, it's a trans it has a transparency around it. Uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. And bye.